Hello again, everybody. This is Terrence Warren, CCMP, Cisco Tutor Guy. And now we are at ticket 14, or lab 14 of the CCMP T shoot exam. So we've got about two or three more labs left to go. Now you're probably wondering why, um, you know, there's a total of maybe 16 tickets in the T shoot lab. But you're only going to probably get 13 of those tickets. And you're probably wondering why I skipped some of like, like lab two and maybe lab, what, nine or ten. I did skip around. But the labs that I skipped, to my knowledge, at the recording of this video, are the labs or the tickets that have been removed from the exam. So I didn't waste any time going over those tickets. So, now that we've cleared that up, let's get started with ticket uh, or lab 14. Alright, so the instructions are client 1 is unable to reach the external web server just like the first couple tickets. So, um, with that being said, we're going to use the ping plan and start from client 1. Now, um, by this time, um, there shouldn't be any more tickets on R1. Um, I happen to know that for the T-shoot exam, from what I've been researching and studying, that there's maybe three or four issues on R1 and four, three or four on R4, and then every other one is just one. So since we've already, you know, at least found at least four issues on R1, um, we know that there shouldn't be any more issues on R1. We should start looking at some of the other routers first now. So we use the ping plan, and we're going to ping R1. And I'm going to ping R2. And I'm going to ping the gateway. Okay, so that's where we get our response from. So we're getting out of the gateway, but we're not able to get to R1 or R2. So we go straight to R4, which is right here. And let's do a show run. And we're looking, we're going to, we always look at the interfaces and the protocols. Okay, so I'm looking at the IPv6. This isn't an IPv6 ticket, so we don't have to look at IPv6. I'm looking at OSPF1, the OSPF right there with the... Uh, AS number of one. Don't seem to be anything there. Now I'm looking at EIGRP. Oh, and here's the problem. Passive interface default. So this is why we're not able to ping away from uh, the gateway. This is Passive interface command is blocked and ERGRP. So, how do we fix that? Since we know that the passive interface default command is the issue, outer EIGRP 10, and we're going to take that command out. Passive interface default. And we're going to put no passive interface default. Oh, that didn't quite go as I thought. No. 
And look at what happened. We took out the passive interface default, and now we can see the EIGRP adjacency forming. You see that right here? We're going to end. Right, mem. And let's go back to the client and try it again. Try our ping again. There we go. We're getting a response from R1 now. We're getting a response from R2. And that was it. Alright, so we found our issue, but let's verify and check our answers. Answer one. The problem was on R4. The faulty technology was IP4 EIGRP routing. And the issue was to note the passive interface default command. And we uh, resolved that by entering the no passive interface default command on ERGRP. So, that lab was pretty, uh, pretty easy. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.